101 Beats. So I'm having a conversation with one of little homies. I just got out and shit. He asking me how do I do it. I tell him it's all about momentum. It's one step at a time, my dog. As long as you keep stepping, you're making progress. Yeah. I'm still swinging for the fence, there ain't no lacking in commitment I'ma take it to the box like when I fought that life sentence I'ma face the consequences, I won't talk to the law The only time we testify is when we talk to the law There ain't no blemish on my name, there ain't no stain on my squad So we're at here on location, the city of Pomona um, You see the sign behind us, God's Pantry um, This is Sergio, the operations manager um, I'm, gonna introduce, I'm introducing him to you guys so that he can let you know Basically what, what his duties are here and what's still needed out here and what you can do to help out and donate, volunteer, participate in any of the programs going on right here. All right, so my name's Sergio. I am a operations manager. We also uh, <clears throat> work with those that have been previously incarcerated, so gang reentry, reentry services. Uh, but the main thing is that <clears throat> food is our wheelhouse, so we use food as a way to get people here because we know everybody needs it, whether they got money or not. And then uh, we offer a uh, job, Jobs for all the youth. What, is, what, is, what are the, so, the, so the, the job so, opportunities so you guys offer? The idea, uh, this came about because we needed to build communities where folks could not only, where not only um, people could come out of jail, but they need a community where they could sort of rediscover their lives, uh, help transition back into the world, and uh, uh, be valued. And not only that, but be a mentor and a light to everybody else. Um, so that's why we created this uh, this place. Uh, in here, we have wraparound services. Yeah, yeah. So we have basically like uh, court mandated stuff. We have um, legal services, uh, restraining order. We do uh, expungement, anything that is uh, uh, needed to, to break those barriers. Uh, but we found that a lot of people, a lot of the youth that come that are minors, uh, home isn't the safest place. So they're here all the time. Uh, they stay here and they never, they don't want to leave. Uh, and because of that, we're able to build relationships and find out exactly what those barriers are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can get them onto the path of. Uh, so you're more uh, in depth of what they need. Of what they need. And, they need and, and just be a, a productive member of society. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, to give back. To, yeah, give back. You know what I mean? What we receive, give it back tenfold. Um, yeah, so if anybody wants to volunteer, donate, how can they go about this? So the way we do it is you go to gods-pantry.org. Uh, we're also on Instagram, Facebook, or you could just come and ask for Sergio or Art. Pull up. And, we'll, and just mention Bozo's name and uh, you're good. You're good, yeah, yeah. All right? Um, thank you. Cool. Appreciate oh, yeah. you, man. God bless you, homeboy. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, we out here not doing much. We're just doing what God gives us and allows us to do. Um, shit, we're just trying to shed light. So you can see the resources that are out here. Um, you can see how you can donate, how you can participate. Trying to shed light on real shit going on in the streets. Not just the narrative that's usually painted out there. Um, all these people right here are usually street affiliated, gang affiliated, ex-convicts, um, juvenile centers, any type of way of shape or form in life. Um, and we out here doing what we can, man. It's God's pantry. Pomona. Love y'all. So I'm out here with Johan today. Um, Right here, chopping it up, introducing each other, networking each other, and I just want to introduce him to y'all to let him to let him tell you out of his own words um, how he ended up here, what he's doing here, and the plans for the future. My name is Johan. I came from Pomona. I was born and raised here. I've been living in Pomona for about 16 years. Um, I got here first, looking for a job and trying to help my community out. I was able to help him out by giving food to people in need or people, uh, or families. And, no resources, I believe what's called. My plans for the future is to become an investor or uh, get into real estate. Those are my plans. Um, so since you've been here, right, and, and you came here um, to the situation you were in, how do you feel this helps the community and how do you feel that it's helped you to change your state of mind and obviously change your plans for the future? Um, well, honestly, I was a greedy person back then when I, lied, when I was younger. I came here and was able to help families like mine yeah. who don't have food on the table all the time. So I'm also here with the homie Art. Um, he's one of the managers here. We want to just introduce you guys to him to let you guys know um, also the services that he's providing here. Give you a testimony of what God's Pantry has also done for him and his situation and his goals in life. Um, Art, you want to tell me a little something about yourself? Uh, so my name is Art. I came to the God's Pantry. I was uh, seeking uh, food as well. I wasn't making ends meet. Um, so uh, God's Pantry uh, was uh, 
uh, distributing food. So I got in line, uh, uh, basically uh, they helped me out with some food and I started volunteering and kind of liked the idea of what they were doing, serving. Um, what is the position you have here and what are your responsibilities as far as your position here? So I'm the warehouse manager here at God's Pantry. What we do is uh, we collect food from local stores, we bring it here, we sort it, we separate it. Uh, we work uh, closely with the job center. We got youth here um, uh, from ages 14 to 25, foster youth, uh, transitional youth, uh, autistic kids. We also work with uh, kids that live in the red zone. Uh, we got P2E for only two employment. So we got the whole community here. Uh, we also uh, work closely with the city, uh, the, the homeless community. So everybody's pretty much involved. And what are, where do you see yourself in the future of God's Pantry? Uh, so I see myself continue, continue to uh, serve and help the community in any way I can. Uh, work with the youth and uh, hopefully encourage them uh, to do some positive media. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. We appreciate that. Uh, Thanks for your work. Thank you, bro. So we are here with the little homies, obviously Anthony and Felix. Um, they want to talk to you guys a little bit about what they've been doing here, how they're participating, how they ended up here, and also on um, the benefits that they've reaped from this program. So basically, how I ended up here was one shit. <laughs> one day I was I was just like you know, I was at home and I was like I was looking for some I was looking for a job. Let's say I was looking for a job and and I really needed a job because I was trying to help my mom. Of course, you know because I, I don't live in a real good community. Like my neighborhood is not good at whatsoever. But what neighborhood are you from? Um, I'm from I'm from down. Um, San Antonio Mission. Oh, okay. I'm like in the trailer community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know so, exactly where you're. Yeah, so um, basically, um, we all grew up there. We're all neighbors. We are. Our hood babies. Yeah, right here. yeah, right here. So basically, I was trying to help. We were all trying to help our moms, you know. And we were offered a, a opportunity to get a job, and we came over here, and then they spread the the word of God, and it, it really just like it it helped me in a way, you know. Of course. Like, like it helped me like change the way I think of things like it's like don't take nothing for granted yeah, and it's like, it's like it really helped me out and um ever since I've been I've been with calling my family because that's what they really are yeah, and and I've been with them ever since like I mean a year yeah, yeah. and it's been a wonderful journey like I don't know how to yeah the support, how. the support's important right yeah 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 and um we just been here and then I another thing is like they gave me a family because I look um since I was a little kid I had, family yeah my sure. mom my, I never know I never knew my dad and I never got to meet him and I really don't feel the need of meeting him you know yeah, yeah, yeah. but ever since I came here I got something called the father figure yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like his name Brandon. Yeah. He called a big D, you know. That's right. Yeah. Um. That's what he really get. He gave me a father figure. He gave all of us a father. He's always there for us. And it's like it's really amazing what what God's pantry, what pe other people could do for you. Like I, I I feel like spreading spreading the word that we shouldn't lock up ourselves. We should actually like look for help and and a really good place is God's pantry, man. Like. So, what's your name, Victor? Victor, man. Victor, nice to meet you. Victor, this is a city councilman for the city of Pomona. Um, he's out here on site, obviously doing work right here on the street with everybody, just like everybody else out here. Another hand to help. Um, I'm gonna let him tell you guys a little bit about how they're making this happen and what they're doing to continue making this happen. Uh, so my name is Victor Fresel. I'm a city council member here in the city of Pomona. Uh, we, we, make, we get this happening uh, through volunteer work. Uh, this is a collection of churches here at God's Pantry, but everybody here is welcome. Always coming by, we, we get creative in what we're doing. We grow our partnerships with the school district cities, and uh, we identify those most in need. Uh, today you see a drive-through application, but we also have direct delivery to people's houses, and we've also have like a Sunday worship service where also people can come in and walk up because we know uh, different families are in different situations. Plus, we want to offer different times just in case you know somebody needs to work, take their kids to school, but we still create opportunities and possibilities for them to even just just have a meal, especially yeah. for the holidays right now. Yeah, how long have you guys been doing this right now? Uh, country's been here for about. Eight years, huh? Well, we've been here for about three years. So, here, right. here. there's been a, in this direct, actually, like, so this started with a teacher, Tom Sweeney, and he started off getting food out of the, out of the back of the van. And through his vision, he got other people together, and they've been in this site directly for three years, 
Uh, and I've been a partner here for now two years since about COVID started. And we've started to get, uh, man, we've, we've probably got 10 times bigger since COVID started. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a need, right? So Absolutely. Obviously, with that's grown, the community's gotten involved. People have helped out. And uh, we appreciate that, though, man. We appreciate your work. We appreciate the, your visit. One of the main things we do want to highlight is the need was there prior to COVID, but now it's just been amplified. Uh, and we've been able to now create the infrastructure together so that now in any situation, I am, I'm confident that a place like God's Pantry will be able to handle it. So come check them out and visit them. Yeah, and they'll give you a tour so that you can do it at your city or wherever you're at. Definitely. Most of Thank you, bro. Gracias, Gracias Bozo. Nice Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. I'm in a European whip with my hand on my Glock. We try to take the street money and invest in the stock. So my name is Mario and I get jobs for uh, foster youth. So if you have any foster youth ages 18 to 20, we'll hire them. Any youth that are on GR, if they're on the streets, they're not working, they're not going to school, they're 18 to 24, we hire them to work six uh, for six months. And then the big job we have is anybody who's on welfare. So if they have children, they're receiving CalWORKs, they're getting cash aid and they want to work, we hire them to work uh, full time, 40 hours a week for 10 months. Uh, just call God's Pantry, we'll, we'll, uh, they get in contact with me and we'll hire everybody you got. And the programs are the whole county of LA, but I specialize here in the in this uh, Pomona Valley area. She's a legal assistant. She does the legal stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Doug? What's up, sir? And over here we have uh, hey George. Wait, wait. What are you doing? I am the uh, social services case manager. We do uh, domestic violence, anger management, uh, and substance abuse classes. Parenting, Parenting too. Wait, just have them contact Sergio. Say less. I will do that for sure. So here's uh, our rooms right here. You want to show me about right? three? No. Better be clean. No shit. Did you guys clean up? Hell yeah. <laughs> I got the, the kids right here. A little setup. That's right. You got your shit done. I see you. I yeah. see you. Stuff right here, you know. Hold on, hold on, Lisa. Yeah, bro. <laughs> a little place right here, you know. Beds, you know. Keep our stuff right here. So how many of you guys is it in here right here? Just four? four. Four of you guys? Yeah, yeah. But you know, we're just two of us right now. Is it um co-ed or is it just boys? It's uh, just men, yeah. Men, yeah, just yeah. men right here? Yeah, yeah. Is that right? That's right, big dog. Home is where the heart is at. That's right. Hey um, so real quick, um this is Bryant, this is Misa, they're participants in the program. This is the transitional housing part of the program where we have where they house um people that don't really have a stable home right now that um, find themselves kind of out in the streets. And um, I'm gonna let them tell you how they ended up here. Uh, first, Brian, what they've been doing here um, and their plans for the future, um, whether with God's Pantry or somewhere else. Go ahead, Brian, let me know yeah, what's up. My name's Brian. I was in placement a couple months ago, you know, at AWOL. What place were you at? Uh, Eggleston. Oh, okay. In yeah. yeah. At AWOL, but I bumped into God's Pantry, you know, and I've been at God's Pantry ever since. And they took me in. And I'm here, you know, and I'm going to college, you know, and working, keeping my head up. What do you, what, what, where do you see yourself five years from now? Um, hopefully having a little spot, you know. Yeah, yeah. And Your own place, right? A better job, you know. Uh-huh. And just keep forward a career. You and, know? You've, and you've learned to give back, right? Like, yes, sir. what you, what you oh, took yeah. in, eventually be in the position to give you the opportunity to give back. Um, this is Misa. He's also been here, um, taking advantage of the situation opportunity. I'm gonna let him tell you also, like how he ended up here, what he's been doing here, and yeah. you know, same thing, plans, goals. Yeah, so my name is Misa. I was uh, recently incarcerated, probably back in June for uh, some, you know, some, some, some dumb stuff, you know, <laughs> some bullshit, you know. But you know, uh, that first time that I came out, and I was gonna come here, like I wasn't in the right state of mind, you know, smoked out, you know, just not. I was wishy washy on both sides of the fences, you know. And um, I went back uh, to jail two weeks after that and did four months in county, went to South, you know, I was there in the working dorm and stuff, you know, doing a PM laundry. Um, and from there, like, it really humbled me. You yeah, know, it showed me a sure. lot of, you know, like, uh, responsibility and how to uphold myself, you know, and how to conduct myself as a man, you know. And um, I'm just, I'm just thankful that the second time coming to God's Pantry that they accepted me in, you know, and, you know, they saw, like, that was clear-minded, you know dead set on my goals and um, you know I'm just thankful and I praise God you know cuz I do have a roof over my head you know I have all these stuff rolling for me you know I got my ID back you know I'm, 
I'm, you know, with my baby mama again, seeing my son, you know, being able to, to visit my family and just, you know, just blessings on blessings. And, you know, I am taking advantage of, of well, all the resources that I can get here, you know, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing whatever I can, you know, wh whether it is, you know, handing out food, giving turkeys, giving hams, you know, I, there I am, you know, like. God has been faithful to me, so I got to be faithful back, you know. Most definitely. Hey, let me ask you guys something. Come here, Brian. Yeah. Um, so after being in the position that you were in that led you to this place and led you to where you're at now, how important do you think that these programs are for the youth and for the community? Man, they're very important to me. I was really messing up in the streets, you know. Where, where do you think, what do you think your options would be without this program? Just roaming the streets, you know. Roaming the streets, my yeah. dog, right? No, I mean, kind of just a, a dead end, feel me, right? No no motivation, no love, no no plans, no knowledge, no wisdom, no guidance, nothing, right? What would you say as far as you, Misa, like, now that you, um, you've you been involved so much with all these men that you've met here, um, that you've um, learned so much and soaked up so much game, like, how important do you think it is for us to continue these programs in the community? Oh, it's it's it's... It's a, it's Mando, you know, it's Mando. mandatory, yeah, because, you know, giving back to the community is a way to show, like, your love and your compassion and your, you know, just your heart for, you know, people like me, you know, people in, in situations like me or, or worse, you know, and I'm just, you know, thankful that I can give back, you know. Yeah, what the, well, these, I think the, that people don't realize that these situations don't come by choice, you know, yeah, yeah. and um, circumstances aren't necessarily picked or chosen where we end up at as far in the streets, but the brotherhood, whether it's through a gang or whatever that, that you come from, whatever, obviously you need this more than anything. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the guidance, on um, the, the resources, and the awareness of what you're capable of doing and how to do it, you feel me? Yeah. We're proud of you guys though, man. Awesome, Keep doing you. your shit. Thank right? you. God bless you, fools, man. You too, Thank you. Love you guys, man. Keep doing what you're doing. God's pantry, man. Tap in. So um, we spent the day out here at God's Pantry, um, soaked up a lot of game, learned a lot of stuff, man, inspired, um, feeling blessed, feeling thankful for what we got. We're in the city of Pomona. Um, this God's Pantry right here is basically the hub for a lot of work going on in the community. This program was started by teachers um, that saw a disconnect between themselves and the students. Um, and they closed that gap, obviously. Um, they feed up to 10,000 families a month here, just in this facility alone. This facility alone also outsources to families in need in, T in Mexico, Tijuana mainly. Um, whatever you guys need, it's here on Sundays. It's a special program for the homeless. Um, we provide showers here, hygiene, food, resources um, for whatever their needs might be. During the rest of the week, you can find whatever you want here. Um, for any type of shape of life that you walk in, whether you're homeless, whether you're fresh out of jail, or whether you just need help and hope, God's pantry is here for you, man. We, they try and do God's work out here, um, and it's real out here. If you come out here, it's seven days a week, 365 days a year. The work don't stop, right? Yeah. That's right. We out this morning. Oh, my bad. No cuss words. We out of here, man. God, let, God bless. Can we do ours? Yeah, go ahead. Do yours. They want to say something. Oh. Welcome to God's pantry. We're we're the helpers. We help here so we can get money, so we can have fun and help. And I'm a football player and a foot and a baseball player, so y'all give us a like. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. Pussy girl, show me your heart. I'm raising women in my household. Any chance I get a compliment, them. tell them they're beautiful. I love them. They're queens to be. I know somebody gonna tell us some bullshit when I'm not around. We gotta, we gotta build fortress around our women. God let them know, man. They everything to us. Yeah. I'm dream chasing, so impatient with the blessed to come.